The storm has started raging, and my heart and soul and mind, it pierces me like lightning. By its darkness I am blind. I cannot face my imperfections without tears of guilt and shame. I have been called worthless, it's become the essence of my name. I have failed so much more than I probably will succeed. So why do I even try to find a place where I am free? Welcome Mystic members to a new series called My Journey of Depression. Now I'm not gonna go back to when all this stuff started because it's kind of irrelevant right now. I mean, unless something from that pertains to something that I decide to share. But this is current when I go through my spurts of it and why or what I learned from it. So, like last night, I learned the sheer magnitude of how sensitive someone is who's going through depression. And I mean, everybody goes through it differently, everybody experiences different things. But I think sensitivity is something that's all around the board. And it's... Depending on the situation, it can either be way up here, or maybe about the middle. But when it's one of those days where everything seems to go wrong, it's way over your head and you're overwhelmed and like it's just like nothing seems to help nothing seems to encourage even if you know people try it just doesn't feel like it's doing any good so first of all I realized that it's wise to stay away from people who may not have ever been through depression I mean you really don't know unless they've told you or if you've just met them, you're, you don't know. Because if you're going through it, something happens, they might not know the correct way to respond to the situation. Or they may not even know that you're depressed. And they may say something that gets taken out of context. And on the internet, it's easy to hide your feelings. But I'm being real this is what I went through last night. When someone is depressed, they're not only sensitive, but they're also not in the right frame of mind to make the wisest choices, and that's usually coming with words. Like, I've seen instances where someone was trying to comfort someone, and they're just like, snapped on them, like, leave me the fuck alone, I want to be by myself. And that's kind of how I felt last night, like, I didn't, I, I wanted to be left alone. Um, I mean, I didn't say that to anyone, but just, when it's that bad, like, because not everybody knows how to be compassionate either, so. And another thing that hurts is, like, if you're depressed and you mess up and you're called out on it may just be a friendly warning, but to someone who's that heightened level of sensitivity, it comes off a lot more than that. It comes out as like, you screwed up, everyone sees it, and it just makes you feel like you don't belong. It's kind of what happened last evening, but that was my fault. I felt like a total screw up because depression that had set in earlier from a situation, financial situation, that I was told would be successful one way, and then when I f made the phone call after a certain thing had happened, apparently I had been lied to about that. So now I have to wait even longer for the money to come in that I need for the bill that I'm late on, which is actually more than what I thought it would be. <sighs> so... That, like, I'm stressed out because of that, I'm depressed because of that, and until that's all taken care of, I don't know if I'll be, I don't know if I'll be right, but I'll have to find other ways to not think about it. Hopefully I don't end up crying myself to sleep one day. <laughs> Basically, that's all I was trying to do, was look for something to keep my mind off it. 
and unfortunately I ended up finding a way to make it worse. That wasn't even the, that was maybe half of why I was depressed and crying. So basically my entire evening and half of my night were spent in tears. Like I said, partly due to that and partly because one of my best friends in another Discord group ended up in the hospital because of her depression. All of us in that Discord group were extremely worried for her and thankfully her mother got on Discord and kept in contact with us. Finally, it was around my lunchtime. It was either my break or... No, I think it was... It was lunch. I think it was lunchtime. She said she was alright and just resting. And then it got to a point where I was able... Like, she woke up and I was able to message her for... A little bit of the rest of my shift. So... I was worried for her, I think, more than anything. Depression is not a joke, guys. Especially when someone has it so severe that suicide seems to be their only answer. I've been through that part. And... I know it's not the answer, but... Sometimes you feel like, hey, what else is there? So if you know someone who has depression, choose your words wisely. It could mean life or death. Just say it. You never know something you might say could come out the wrong way to, to them. So just be careful what you say. Show compassion. Show love. Don't preach at them because that's just going to make things worse. I've already removed a so-called Christian from, from my Facebook because I was upset and all he did was want, preach Bible verses at me. And I'm like, no, I'm done. I'm not playing that. I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, it seems, it's sad because it seems like all Christians know how to do is preach because that's all they hear. Well, I'm sorry, but you're not looking at the bigger picture. Jesus was compassionate. God is compassionate. That doesn't give you the right to preach to someone's face when they're upset and flipping out about something. You should be compassionate as well. And too many Christians just ruin it and it makes makes the rest of us look bad and we're not all that way which is another reason I quit going to church because of that feeling judged for mistakes I've made and still part of but there's nothing I can do about it it's beyond my control so if you're anyone you know is going through depression the best things to do is be there for them, be loving to them. If they need you, do whatever you can to help and encourage them. And I hope this helps anyone who's watching.